So for most of our users, that's what they want to know. They just purely want to know what is the temperature now or what's my historical temperature. In Cleverlogger, we go one step further. And what we do is we say, well, if there was a problem, chances are you needed to know about that problem. So it's no good just logging the fact that the temperature went high and then came low again. You need to know about it. So what we do is we have this concept called alarms. And so if I scroll down, what I see down below is here's an alarm. And so this alarm is telling me that 13 days ago, my fridge got too warm and it was warm for one hour and 30 minutes. And if I wanted to, I can click on that alarm and just see exactly what happened at that time, at that period. So it's a really, really good way of, of reminding yourself that there was a problem and that your vaccines or your food may not be safe. So you need to deal with this. And when I go through the settings, what I'm gonna be doing is showing you all the types of things that we do to try and make sure that you're aware of alarms, responding to alarms. But for now, it's really just introducing to you that concept that we're not only just giving you a graph, but we've also got this concept of alarms. And you need to come in and you can acknowledge an alarm, which is basically just saying, hey, I know about it, don't panic. And then we close alarms, which is saying, I've dealt with the problem, I don't need to know about this anymore, just hide it from me. Keep in mind that we can bring back all these alarms at any stage and show you the historical alarms. But what we're doing is we're trying to say, this is what you need to focus on now, active alarms because your fridge is too hot. And this is what you need to be aware of, historical alarms that have been acknowledged, just to make sure that it gives you a chance to record notes and then say, yes, I've dealt with the problem, off it goes. So there are alarms.